here we have the case of follicular adenoma. It is a benign lesion, it is usually solitary, and it is well circumscribed and it is associated with relatively thick, well-formed fibrous capsule. Uh, this well-formed and complete um, fibrous capsule is what differentiates uh, follicular adenoma from adenomatoid nodule. Another useful feature is that uh, the cells of the follicular adenoma has, uh, have usually different architecture and uh, different appearance than the, the cells of the adjacent uh, thyroid parenchyma. So this is the follicular adenoma, which is partially cystically transformed. Uh, the follicles are lined by uh, cuboidal uh, thyrocytes. Some of these follicles are relatively small. Here we have the fibrous capsule. And uh, if we compare this parenchyma to uh, the adjacent thyroid parenchyma, it looks different. Here we have uh, relatively flat uh, thyrocytes and the cells are less prominent. Um, this different appearance is usually slightly more prominent uh, than in this case. Another important differential diagnosis is a follicular carcinoma. Follicular carcinoma can look exactly the same like follicular adenoma. However, it is associated with invasive uh, type of growth. So either we can find the invasion through the capsule or we can find angio invasion. And therefore, follicular adenoma needs to be always completely embedded and uh, the capsule needs to be thoroughly examined to exclude invasion. Now, based on these facts, uh, it is quite uh, clear that fine needle aspiration cytology uh, cannot reliably distinguish adenomatoid nodule from follicular adenoma uh, and from follicular carcinoma because we do not have uh, uh, this capsule and we cannot exclude invasion. On the other hand, the diagnosis of papillary thyroid carcinoma is based on the morphology of the nuclear, uh, nuclear features. So uh, papillary carcinoma can be diagnosed by fine needle aspiration, and the cytology is quite useful in, uh, in some cases. Uh, the fibrous capsule can be relatively thin in some parts of the tumor as here, but it is, uh, it is always present uh, around the whole tumor. Well, thank you for watching.